Mr. Saboni? Get it! <laughs> it is so cool! Uh, uh, it is an honor. I know this isn't gonna make sense, but I need to know how- I know exactly what you need to know, MK the Monkey Kid. The question is, do you? Wait, you know who I am? But we're inside the scroll, in a memory. I am the great Master Saboni. There is little I do not know. Oh, okay, great. So you can help me find Monkey King, save my friends, and defeat the curse? Awesome! No giant world-ending calamities for the Monkey Kid. Just gonna be straight shooting fun-filled adventures by the beach. Ow! Hey, what was that for? Stand straight and hush your tongue. You talk too much. This is not about the Monkey King. There is something more at play here. Something about you. <gasps> what? Me? I'm just a regular noodle delivery boy. <laughs> Do you even believe that? The students I train spend lifetimes to possess a fraction of your power. Am I to believe Sun Wukong is the greatest master in history? I mean, maybe he's pretty great. Now, wrong! Uh, I am the greatest master in all of history. However, even I admit my mentorship is not the sole reason for Sun Wukong's absurdly fast learning, just as his is not reason for yours. Tell me of your childhood, your parents. Oh, well, um, I... You do not remember? No, I remember. It's just... Uh... Pixie. And what else? Stone. Monkey King Stone. Please, take me there. Oh, very well. But only because you said please. <laughs> oh. Yes! Thank you, Master! Monkey King! Monkey King! Where is he? That's his stone, but it looks... Monkey King should be here. This is the stone I've been seeing in my vision. Why isn't he here? I have not brought you to your master. Although this was the stone from which Sun Wukong once sprung, it appears over time it was used to form another. A simple creature with no past, no family, and no name. There is a reason you are at the center of these stories. A reason you can harness the power of the Monkey King himself. So you're telling me I am the Monkey King? Wrong! Without question, you were not born from the stone as he was. Who or what you are, even I do not know the answer. But of one thing, I am certain. Fate has plans for you. Great plans or foul? Time will tell. I... I can't be! I'm just... I'm just MK! The Monkey Kid. <laughs> Your journey is just beginning. Who the frick is this guy? This is the last thing we need! The hour is late. It's well and truly time the new great companions received some training. Oh yeah, baby! I can't wait to learn some Kung Fu skills! Ow! Hey! Do not bother with what they are doing. You need to focus on the task ahead of you. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Isn't that why we're wasting time here to learn how to stop Azure Lion from taking over the world? Relax, May. Here, have some brain food noodles. <laughs> and you need to stop gorging yourself on our rations. I'm sorry. 
Tristan, I'm stressed, okay? Stressed that Azure Line has probably taken over the Celestial Realm by now. Monkey King is gone. MK is MIA. But I can't use my powers reliably. I just feel so useless. <sighs> you overcome by emotion. Until now, you've overcome adversity through sheer power and luck. That won't be enough this time. As a lion, the Golden Wing Peng, and Yellow Tusk the Wise. Alone, they can best a thousand man army. Together, they are nigh unstoppable. I do not make a habit of extending my training to any mere mortals. The very fate of the universe depends on you. But as you are now, it cannot. You, girl, are too impulsive. You are a groveling coward with scrawny ankles. You, pigman, are too stubborn to see the truth. And you, blue one, are simply delightful. You might be the most studious of the lot. <laughs> Why do I want that? You all have the potential for such unimaginable power. The only ones standing in the way are yourselves. Right now, you're like a jagged stone. Once I'm done with you, you'll be worn down, chiseled, and refined. Except you, Sandy. You're chiseled enough. <laughs> I know, my issue is my self-confidence. Wrong! It's your complete lack of skill. Hey! By a stroke of luck, you tapped into your powers before and have managed great feats. However, this is not reliable. You're lazy, you whine, complain, and you do not practice. Uh, can we go back to my positive qualities, maybe? The great monk Tang San Zang was studious, a master of the mystical arts. Although rigid, humorless, and at times cold, it was this disconnect with others that allowed him to focus on his studies, to learn all there was to learn without distraction by trivial things such as friendship. But what's the point of having this power if I don't use it to help my friends? Like you and your companions, the original pilgrims were changed by their journey. It took the monk a long time to learn that friendship has its own power, too. Something you have already learned. <laughs> to aspire to his level of skill, you must study. You can no longer rely on sheer dumb luck and cram it, cram boy. Aulien, the White Horse Dragon, was an exceptionally powerful being. But he was timid and nervous, lacking your confidence and borderline arrogance. Hey, I'll show you, arrogant! Proving my point, as someone who once wielded the Samadhi Fire, I thought you would know that the flame that lights a candle is also capable of igniting a forest fire. You're capable of much more if only you would slow down and think. Haulia knew when to take action and when to action caution, and by doing so, could summon tremendous power. Yeah, like I said, kinda learned all that already, so. <laughs> we will see. Yo, what about my star? When you've earned it. <laughs> Nothing more to learn, my hilariously blue student. Another star for you? No, oh, thank you, wise master. But you're far too nice for your own good. <laughs> you noticed? Look, if you're here to teach me some magic tricks or whatever, you can just forget about it, all right? Ju was a stubborn one, too. Oh, well, you think we're the same just because we're pigs, huh? Bet you think I'm just a disgusting little monster, too. Jubajie had his vices. However, like all the companions, he grew up. He struggled the most, but he worked hard, not unlike yourself. Although he didn't start out this way, 
In time, he became a deeply caring and protective creature and a powerful ally. One of the best, in fact. The heart you have in abundance. The power? Why? You've barely scratched the surface of your potential. And that's saying something. By breaking these shackles you have imposed upon yourselves, you will become truly unstoppable warriors. Which is what the universe is going to need sooner than we might hope. And just where do you think you're going? We can't just keep sitting here meditating or whatever. We gotta get up there and stop Azure. You are not ready. <laughs> May, what are you doing raising a plane to the great Sufu Sabodi? What's your deal, guy? We are so ready to go and end this. Still, you have learned nothing. If you leave now, you will be walking into the embrace of your own demise. You're right, Sufu. Perhaps we aren't ready. We might be clumsy and kind of figuring things out as we go, but it's worked out for us so far. And with Master's training, then surely we stand a chance. Personally, I've never felt more in sync with you guys than I do right now. Even if we don't have MK or Monkey King, we have to try. They're dead, right? Oh, no doubt. <laughs>